Hi, Taurus. What's up? What's good, Taurus? For all my new people, thank y'all so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate y'all. And for my returning subscribers, welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. My name is Queen of Wands 1111. And this will be a love reading for February 2024. Take the reading how it resonates with you. Apply it where it needs to be applied to. There may be certain parts of this reading that resonate. There may be certain parts that don't. So just take whatever is your story and leave the rest for another Taurus. This will also be for the Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, North Node, Taurus. All right. And if you are cross-watching for a Taurus, you are welcome as well. How y'all doing? This is for the male and female gender. Let's see what messages the universe wants y'all to know. Taurus. So there's a snake in your energy and the snake don't do nothing but shed new skin. It says deception, shady, temptation, enemy. So somebody's an enemy here. All right. Somebody falls into temptation. They're deceptive and they're shady. All right. Whoever this person is to you, I feel like you may have met this person online. You may have been online dating with this person. All right. You may have been networking with this person. Some of you are networking online here, but I do feel like this person is spying on you, reminiscing about you. All right. Let's see. Between the lines, it says hidden meaning, vague, speculate, implicit. So I feel like you have to read in between the lines when it comes to a particular person. Okay, yeah, listen to your intuition. The universe is guiding you here. I feel like you got a gut feeling that something is off about this person. Some of you are psychic. Some of you are tarot readers like myself. Some of you pull tarot cards or you watch a lot of readings. You're going to get signs and synchronicities about this person. I feel like you're going to get some messages from the universe. This is no coincidence, okay? The universe is trying to give you a hint through signs, numbers, symbols here, okay? That this person is wearing a mask. Whoever this person is, it says hidden motive, concealed, disguise, and lying. So they're trying to disguise something, okay? I feel like they got a hidden motive and they've been lying. They've been hiding something from you, all right? Let's see. Yeah, storm warning. It says upheaval, obstacle, wrecking ball, and drama. So there's an upheaval. There's some challenges here, obstacles. There's some drama coming in between you and this person. And I feel like this person needs to surrender and let go of some things here. Okay, their vices or you're letting go of this person. You're releasing some things here. You're giving up on this person. And I feel like you're being patient with the universe. You're being patient with your spirit guides, your angels, and your ancestors. Some of you need to go out into nature more, okay? Some of you may like to go out into the rain or in your area. It is raining right now, okay? Yeah, mystery. So I feel like you're being quiet. You're being mysterious here. This person causes confusion and illusions here. Yeah, an ex-lover. Ex-lover. This person is thinking about you. They're thinking about the memories. They're focused on the past here. They feel like it was meant for you two to meet each other. They feel like it was a faded meaning. They feel like it was meant to be. Some of you got green hair. Your person may uh, have dreads or twists in their hair. All right. But they feel like when y'all met, it was meant to be. All right. And I feel like you're going through a spiritual awakening right here. Okay. It says enlightenment, epiphany, life lessons, rebirth. Yep, you're changing, going through a metamorphosis. There's growth here in your energy. I feel like this person does have romantic feelings for you. It says falling in love, affection, happiness, and emotions. So this person has emotion for you, Taurus, or you have feelings for them. But I just feel like some of you are taking this person to court and divorcing them. They could be getting locked up or in trouble with the law, okay? There's some sort of judgment here in a legal court case, or they're facing judgment. But I do see justice being served in your favor. I do see balance being restored in your energy. Yeah, you ghosted this person. You disappeared. You're silent. You're ignoring them. You rejected this person. Yeah, because they thought the grass was greener on the other side. This person is jealous. All right. They felt like they found a better option. I feel like the grass is greener on your side. You're going to find a better option. You deserve to be happy because in this connection, you were unhappy. This person is going to hit you up. You will hear from this person. 
They want to communicate with you. You may get some news here. This could be a phone call or a direct message. Yeah, this person wants to take you out on a date. They want to meet up with you. They want to court you, okay? Some of y'all been in the house a lot, all right? Some of y'all could be traveling here. You could be at a distance from this person. You're setting boundaries. You're going on a getaway. You're traveling somewhere, or this person wants to travel towards you, towards your house. They want to come to your house. They may want to meet up with you at your house, like, yo, where you live at, or can I come over? Okay, some of you are getting back out there on the dating scene, dating someone else. And whoever this other person is, they may feel like it's a faded meeting. A meeting. They may feel like it was meant for you two to meet. All right. <clears throat> Let's get some more messages and see what the universe wants you to know. Taurus, like the video up if it's resonating with you so far. Give this reading a big thumbs up if you want me to continue doing readings for you guys. Some of you guys just watch the reading and do not like the reading. I see who watching. All right. So like the reading, y'all. Like the reading. Thank you very much. Yeah, pay attention to your health here, okay? Somebody could be, somebody's pH balance could be off. Somebody around you could be sick, okay? I feel like something about, like, your health is not right or your body's going to tell you, like, yo, something's not right. Somebody's bisexual. They like boys and they like girls here, okay? Yeah, listen to your intuition. Follow your intuition. I feel like you're keeping your eye open. Some of you smoke black and mild. Some of you smoke um, blunts here. You may be in a long distance relationship with this person. For some of you, this person has a dark past there, okay? This person may have been a stripper in the past, male or female. It says, if you knew about my past, would you still love me? So there's some things about this person that you just do not know. Pay attention, all right? This person is a thief, all right? You could be a school teacher or you just school this person. You know, you tell them a lot of information. You let them know what's up. Okay, it says, Daddy, the jury is still out with me about her. So I feel like your daughter, if you're a male watching, your daughter doesn't like your person. Can you please include my feelings the next time you want to combine families? So I feel like when you and this person got together, they may have children, you have children, and your daughter is not feeling it. Okay, they feel like their feelings was put to the side. Um, and they want you to let them know next time before you combine families, if they're okay with this person coming into your life or not. I feel like there's some fake news or fake gossip going on. It says, girl, I promise you I saw him. Okay. I feel like your girlfriends or your homeboys is telling you some fake news about your person. Let's see. Yeah. I feel like you guys are in a toxic relationship. That's the energy that I'm picking up. Yeah, somebody was trying to keep something hidden from you on the down low. It says, hold up this text to the homie. So you may be seeing a text that your person sent to their homie, whether this is a male or female. All right. I feel like you supported this person. All right. And all you want is that support back from them. But I do feel like you have decisions to make. Some of you, this person does support you. Okay. But you have decisions to make about this connection. Your person may wear a watch. You may wear a watch. You may wear hoops or studs. I'm seeing green nails, green hair, straight hair, curly hair, braids. Yeah, this person wants to be closer to you. I feel like y'all are at a distance from each other. Okay, some of y'all live with this person. It's going to resonate differently for everybody. If you're at a long distance, you could be a single mother. All right. Yeah, you felt like this person was a loving man here. Or they want to come back and be a loving man and cook for you and take care of you. And I feel like this person wants forgiveness from you. They want you to forgive them. Okay, this person could be crying. They may have a fro. All right. But I feel like you are being very reserved right now. You're being patient here. You could be reading a book. You could be sitting on the couch watching this. All right. Your cousin is like, girl, I got your back. You deserve better than this. Or this is your friend. All right. Somebody is spying on you as well. But I feel like you're being protected here, okay? You got a lot of protection around you. Your angels are around you protecting your peace here, protecting you from all this drama here. 
who's spying on your social media. It could be your cousin. He's somebody that I used to know. Okay, so there's a female trying to start some drama. There's an interference. Somebody's spending more time with the homie than you. All right, you have some sort of status here. You could be in the spotlight. You could be famous. You could be a public figure or in the public eye here. You're a star, okay? Somebody is seeing your man and telling all your business. You're in a codependent relationship. There's not enough give and take in this relationship. I feel like you guys been fixated on this person and they got you fucked up. Okay, they took your kindness for weakness here. All right, and I feel like they got you fucked up. Who's spying on your social media? It says, you got this. I have seen you go through so many storms and always come out on top. I'm so proud of you. That's a message from your, your um, angels here. Okay, so you've been through a lot of shit, but you always bounce back. There's a trusted advisor around you who you can trust with your secrets here. Okay, somebody's pregnant or this is you. Somebody has different baby mamas or different baby daddies, different wives, different husbands here. Who's spying on your social media? Could be your neighbor. Your neighbor is nosy as hell. They ratchet as hell. Okay, there's a side chick here. They could be spying on your social media. You will not change this person. I feel like some of y'all tried to change this person for the better. And you won't, no matter how many times you call them, text them. You could be ignoring their phone calls, text messages. But I feel like you won't change them. Only the, the, a, a person's going to change if they want to. Okay. Some of y'all nails could be pink. What's this that fell? Happy. So you felt like everything was all good between you and this person. Y'all may play the game together. You was happy with them, but I just feel like a lot of things changed. Yeah, this is a spiritual connection that you had with them. But remember to make yourself a priority always. Always make yourself a priority because this person got you fucked up. Okay. There's a need for grounding work. I feel like you have a lot of pressure on you. There's a job offer, so you could be applying for this job or you could be hearing the news about a job that is hiring in your area. This could also be from a family member or a friend here that's telling you this. Somebody's trying to escape, like cope with this whole situation or escape the reality of something by popping pills here. Could be ecstasy. Uh, it could be acid, Xanax, Molly, whatever they pop in here, it's not healthy. There's a third party here. So this third party could be popping pills. For some of you, this person has a third party um, and they have a baby with this third party. You're coming off as pretty defensive. They could be swingers. For some of you, use protection. Okay, because this person doesn't like to use protection, especially if they're a swinger. But this third party popping pills, trying to get high. Okay. Your person got you fucked up because they feel like you would just stay in a codependent relationship and you won't leave. I feel like you made life very easy for this person, very comfortable for them. All right. But they want to come back being sweet and nice and cook for you and do all these things for you. Some of y'all could be pregnant, but I just feel like they want to get back on your good side. They want your forgiveness, but there is a third party. All right, but your person wants to be with you, but I just feel like, nah, they got you twisted. You know you want my love. <clears throat> you got me twisted over you. Some of y'all like keep sweat. I know I got what you need. Messages for Taurus. So what do you want to do? Hey, baby, baby, I know. Baby, I love you so. But you don't feel like I do. What's this? 
Okay, so there's a mature man coming towards you with dreads, twists, or you know how to do locks. Could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or this is you. You're grounded, young, practical, self-made, and ambitious. And I feel like there's an intelligent person coming towards you, a communicator, somebody who's smart and generous, an air sign. Yeah, they're ready for love here. Okay, they are ready for love. They don't want to play no games with you. They looking for commitment. They're emotionally available and they know how to treat a woman or a man. And I feel like this person wants to give you a gift. Okay, this could be something you've been wanting or something you've been waiting for. But whatever this gift is, they want to surprise you with something. They want to take you out to the movies. Some of y'all met this new love already. Y'all may have hung out together before. All right. But if you do spend time with this person, they're going to love being with you because y'all going to have so much fun together. Somebody feels powerless. They're feeling stuck. They're in their head. They don't know what to do. I feel like there's drama coming in. There is some drama here. OK. I feel like this person wants to be with you real, real fast because they don't want you to be with somebody that treats you better than they should have. All right. And, and this person really confuses you. Because they do a lot of shit and you don't even know what you did wrong to make them do this, right? You don't even know what you did wrong. Yeah, they're already involved. So this person that's coming back towards you that causes confusion is already involved. And I feel like they're being rejected by you. They feel rejected. They could be married for a small portion of you. Well, y'all went through a separation, a split, some time apart, or y'all needed a break from each other. Yeah, because this person is a snake. They can't be trusted. They're an enemy posing as a friend or a lover. This person is a thief. This person is someone that acts like they care, but they really don't give a damn. And you needed to recharge. You're drained by this energy vampire. You're emotionally or physically drained, checked out. You're exhausted. Exhausted. What's this? Yeah, somebody wants to take you on a bay vacation and treat you right. They want to take you on a romantic trip, just the two of y'all. All right. But I feel like you've been spending some time alone, spending some time by yourself, to yourself, with yourself. You in solitude, quarantine, withdrawal, contemplating, or you're just antisocial, not speaking much. All right. For some of you. Yeah, you and your person been ignoring each other, not understanding each other, not talking, not getting along. This person is a money or a romance scammer. So they'll tell you all the right things that you want to hear. But they have hidden motives. They wear a mask. So this person is not who they say they are. They got financial issues as well. So they want to take you somewhere nice, but they can't right now because they money looking funny, honey. Somebody watching you, somebody is spying on your social media. If they don't got social, if you don't have social media, they may have a drone in your area spying on you, but they're being sneaky trying to see if you were somebody else. This could be your baby mama, baby daddy. There's some drama arising between the two of you. You could be taking them to court, putting them on child support or fighting for sole custody of your children. If you have any, you're pampering yourself though. Treating yourself good, taking yourself out on dates, showing yourself, you know, that love that you need. You're taking bubble baths with candles, could be drinking wine, listening to music. At the end of the day, you're frustrated and I feel like you're trying to regain your peace here. You're tired of someone's shit. You're stressed out, overloaded and burnt out. Whoever this person is, you close the doors on them. It's not the right time. Okay, for some of you in the past, you are not ready for love, but I feel like there is somebody coming towards you that wants to treat you better than this person did. And that's what they're afraid of. Okay, you may have met this person at the club, whoever you close the doors on, they may work at a club, they may own a club, they may be a promoter. You may be hanging out with your friends or they hanging out with their friends, but they can't wait to see you. This person wants to see you real bad, but this person is a player. They can't be trusted. They're non-committal. Yeah, they're a sweet charmer. They'll treat you good, tell you all the right things that you want to hear, but they play games with your heart. This person is emotionally immature. They don't know how to treat you. They lack presence in this connection. There's a disconnect. You're not, you're not 
connected to this person like you used to be. The feelings are not the same. This will be short-lived or it may be short-lived, all right? For, uh, for some of you that's in a relationship with this player right now, all right, this relationship will not last long or it has not lasted long and they're trying to figure out what they can do to fix it. They know they was wrong and want to make it right with you. They want to fix this, but I feel like this person created trust issues in you guys' energy. You just need some time to heal before you even get into a new relationship. You could be in therapy, but you're healing from a past relationship. You could be trying to figure out how to heal from this. You could be talking to somebody about your issues. You could be in therapy. You could be going to counseling. Some of you are not in therapy or counseling. Some of you may meditate or just trying to regain your peace. But I feel like this person is afraid of you meeting someone that's going to treat you better than they should have. All right. That's why they're going to move in towards you real, real fast and rush in, trying to be with you all of a sudden, you know, trying to make up for what they did because they feel you pulling away from them. But it's not your fault. That's that's something that they caused. That's on them, not you. If they wouldn't have been doing all the bull BS that they was doing, then you wouldn't have any reason to meet a new love. You would be happy in your current relationship if there was an equal give and take in the relationship. This person is upset. They're in regret. They're feeling remorseful. They're crying over spilled milk here. They're crying. They're in the blues over you because they need your help. Page of Pentacles. They want to make you a small offer. Okay. But it's like this person plays head games and mind games with you. They're deceptive and manipulative. You may have been disappointed and crying over the way that this person was giving. They were giving too little to you, breadcrumbing you, playing mind games, head games with you. You know what I'm saying? And they feel like they could give you something small and still win you over at all costs here. This could be a night out for dinner in a movie. This could be a piece of jewelry. This could be a gift. All right. But I just feel like y'all had a heated discussion or an argument and had a verbal falling out here because of the tit for tat, push and pull, tug of war type of energy. This person wants you in your head. Whoever this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is, this could be another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Cancer, a Pisces. They want you stuck in your head. They want you to overthink. They want you to feel stuck, trapped, and blocked. They want you to be blinded to something. But I feel like your hands is tied. You may have been feeling like your back was against the wall here dealing with this person. But I feel like you, you, you know, your hands is tied. There's nothing else you could do about this. You could be taking this person to court. This person could be a Libra. Okay, you could be suing them, putting them on child support, getting an order of protection or restraining order on this person. This person is in their head a lot about you too because they're wondering if you're going to take them to court. This person could be afraid of going to jail. For some of y'all, this person could be getting locked up. All right. But for others of you, you could be applying for child support or taking sole custody of your kids if you have any. If not, I do see legal issues arising in this person's energy. You could be going to court too, but there's balance being restored in your energy. I feel like it's going to go in your favor. There's good karma here for you. This person is a distorted masculine. This person is not your uh, divine masculine. They're a karmic. I feel like this person doesn't have no discipline, no structure. Um, they may have lost their job. They may have lost their company. All right. They, they're not stable. I feel like this person is someone who is realizing that they've lost all control over you and they feel powerless. Yeah. This person's been juggling you going back and forth between you and another person. You've been going back and forth with whoever this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this Aries is. This person may have been living a double life, but I feel like this parent has not been around. They're in and out of your life, or they've just been absent from your child's life. Like I said, y'all may be at a distance from each other. And they haven't seen their kids. If you have kids with this person, okay, and I feel like you're finding yourself to be very busy. All right? You're going to be very, very busy. 
Make sure you keep those appointments up. If you're making any appointments here, make sure you keep your appointments with the doctor, the dentist, with your kids. Make sure if you got a PTA meeting, you go. You know what I'm saying? If you got a calendar, write that stuff down in your calendar about what you're going to do. But I just feel like you see this person as weak. And a P-U-S-S-Y, whatever you call this person, I feel like you see them as somebody you don't have the strength to deal with anymore. You throwing your hands up. It could be a Leo that you're throwing your hands up to you. Like, well, just F it. F it. I'm not going to deal with it no more. All right. And you're taking some time out to heal. All right. You are this person's weakness. And I feel like they have hope and faith that you two can heal things, mend things, work things out. But I feel like you're taking some time to heal and balance yourself out here. You could be in the spotlight. You could be very popular. You could be connected to an Aquarius. Yeah, it is over. This person stabbed you in the back too many times. They betrayed you too many times. And I feel like you're done with this person. Fanito. You don't see this person as the one. They're a bully. They're disrespectful. They have no respect for you. Some of y'all broke up with this person. Some of y'all separated. Some of y'all divorced. There's just too many arguments between the two of you. All right. And if y'all started off as friends, you don't even want to be their friend anymore. Okay. They could be losing friends around them. All right. This person was not planning a future with you. They were not. All right. And I feel like you're not feeling stuck between a rock and a hard place. You're not feeling stuck to the point where you need to make a choice or decision if you want to leave or stay. All right. You know exactly what you want to do. All right. You're not feeling stuck at all. But there was no forward movement between you and this person. You don't even, you, you, fell out, you fell out of love with this person. Yeah, I feel like you changed. You're going through a metamorphosis, an ego death, a transformation. I do see an ending that happened between you and a Scorpio. Yeah, somebody from your past here. Okay. This person could be very corrupt. All right. Yeah, you're the empress. You're divine um, feminine. You're not a karmic. They're missing you. They're reminiscing. They want to reconcile with you. You could be their baby mother or you could be pregnant. But you know what you bring to the table. You're very beautiful, confident. And I feel like this person was just moving very slowly towards you to make you an offer of something more stable, solid, and committed. Even though you try to work on this relationship with them, you put in a lot of work and a lot of effort towards this connection. But I feel like this person just kept their options open, try to cause confusion around you, illusions around you. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like you're not chasing after this person. You may have felt like you rushed into a relationship with this person and you're taking a step back like, yo, I should have been more patient. I should have waited. Okay, with the Knight of Swords in reverse, you uh, feeling like, you and this person are not good for each other. Okay. Yeah, this person's a damn player. They're in and out of your life. They're fickle with their energy. They feel like they could just come and go and do what they, what they want to do. They feel like they could just come in and have sex with you and leave. All right. And you're releasing this energy. This person is very immature. They're very childish here. They're not ready for what you want. They're not ready to give you what you want. You may have been overspending to this um, you may have been overspending on this person or been very generous towards this person. Just spending a lot of money. But I feel like you're doing good in your career because you're working really hard here. You're mastering your craft. It's something you've been waiting for that's been taking a long time to come in. It could have something to do with your work. You could be self-employed. You could be looking for a new job. But I feel like it's coming. Some of you work for construction with a chisel and a hammer. For others of you, you could be... Um, Working on a project, a DIY project, or just mastering your craft. Like I said, you have a lot of different options here about what you could do for work here in your business. My fault, you guys. My kids wanted to ask me something. But yeah, you have a lot of different options on what you want to do. I feel like um, it may have been a challenge for you to let this person go and release this person. But for others of you, it was not a challenge. You was like, I got to do this now. I got to do this now. I can't waste no more time. And you released this person. And I feel like you're winning. You're doing good in your career. I feel like um, you guys are in the spotlight. You're a public figure. You're in the public eye here. Or there's just a lot of success and victory in you guys' energy. Okay? 
if you're not a public figure or on the public eye, you will be. And I'm seeing a huge following for you guys. You could be connected to a Leo Aries Sagittarius. Yeah, there's just a lot of drama between the two of you. A lot of fussing, fighting, arguing here. Okay, this person put you in competition. There's a lot of conflict. This person has some inner conflict they're going through with their near uh, energy. They're fighting themselves. They're trying to fight for your attention. All right. This person may have even tried to put their hands on you and abuse you. May have tried to KO you at one point in time for a small portion of you, not all of you. But I feel like you are single. You know, you're staying to yourself. You're focusing on you and your money. You're living your best life and you're doing you. And I feel like you're going to be happy. You're going to be in a relationship. If you're single now, you're not going to be single for long. All right? This person going to be checking you out, keeping their eye on you, try to see what you post or how you speak or how you dress. Yeah, this person wants longevity with you. This could be another Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn. But you won't be single for long. You will be in a relationship that is stable. And I feel like you'll be happy. Okay, you guys could be learning about business. You guys could be doing some research about cryptocurrency, Bitcoin here. You may have doubted your intuition a lot about this past person. Or somebody's uh, third eye chakra is blocked. This could be a cancer. Somebody doesn't listen to their intuition. Somebody's a fake high priestess. They do dark magic and dark spells here. Okay. I just feel like whoever this person is that's coming towards you and checking you out, they want stability with you. You may be a bit guarded. All right. But I feel like you are turning your back towards this past person to explore, to expand, to see what else is out there. And I feel like you've been waiting for a stable, solid connection to come in for you. This person wants to be loyal. They may have children. You may have children. This could be a blended family situation. But I feel like this will be a good relationship. This person may have a lot of money or both of you have a lot of money. And you've been waiting for a relationship like this for a long time. Even though you may be a little guarded because you've been through a lot. You're bruised. You're wounded. You've been hurt before. You don't want that energy again. You could be giving off the wrong impression and side-eyeing people here. But I do feel like, you know... You may give this uh, new relationship a chance. Okay. So Taurus, that is your reading. If this is your story, if it resonates with you, if you like this video, if you watch this video, if you want to see me do more videos like this for you guys, make sure that you guys hit that like button, smash that like button, turn your post notifications on to A, L, L, so you won't miss when I do post for you guys. Make sure that you guys comment down in the comment section below. Drop some purple hearts in the comment section for me. I love the color purple, and I ain't talking about the movie. Drop some, now nah, I do like the movie. That's one of them bomb-ass movies. But drop some purple hearts in the comment section for me, y'all, to let me know y'all fucks with y'all girl, okay? Comment and let me know if this resonates with you. I love y'all so, so much. And don't forget to subscribe. The likes and the subscribes keep me going. It keeps me motivated, and it lets me know that y'all want to see more of me do more of these readings for y'all. I got collective readings coming up, and I'm also doing a, a, a reading for Taurus singles, so keep your eyes on that. I will keep you posted. I love you guys so, so much. Until next time, bye, Taurus, and I'll see y'all in the next reading. 